Do you have lots of art materials but still feel uninspired or stuck for ideas? In this video I'm going to show you how you can get painting again without spending money on new art supplies. If you're like me, you probably know the feeling of wanting to paint, but feeling stuck or uninspired. And uh, often we already have plenty of art supplies and uh, it can feel like an easy fix to go out and buy more art materials to get out of a rut. But I think what we really need is something to spark our imagination. I would like to challenge you to use the art materials you already have and love, but using them in new ways and new combinations. Let me share an exercise I found really helpful when I need to find my way back to my creative flow without spending a dime. First step, find all your art supplies. Then write a list of all your paints, your colors, and all your tools. The purpose is to get a comprehensive overview of all your art supplies, new and old. And don't forget those rarely used art materials at the back of the cupboard, like gold leaf, uh, colored paper, etc. I divide the materials into categories, one category with different types of paints and colors, watercolors, acrylics, etc. Then a category of painting tools, including brushes, painting knives, brayer, old toothbrushes, etc. Now comes the fun part. Pick one or two items from each category and combine them into one creative project. For example, Combining charcoal, acrylics on paper using a brayer. Or combining acrylic inks using a toothbrush and collage papers. Write down five to ten combinations of art materials that you would have never thought about trying or using together. I found that I had never tried combining charcoal with watercolors, for example. Writing them down makes it easier and quicker the next time you are stuck for ideas. You can have a running list on your phone, in the notes app, or on your computer or your studio wall. Use a sketchbook for your explorations or tape off a large piece of watercolor paper and start making some experiments testing out your new found combinations and see what happens. I bet before long you'll be totally out of your head and in the process and you'll have forgotten all about your lack of ideas. Don't worry about following any rules, experiment, play, make a mess. The goal is to experiment and get you out of that rut using what you already have. New combinations I found and really liked were watercolor and charcoal. Who would have thought it? If you don't feel like being this methodical, making lists and everything, you could just put everything in a big pile and do a blind grab. So dig into your toolbox and grab something from it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo thing. And pick one thing from each category and start there. I would love to hear what interesting and inspiring combinations you can come up with, so please share those in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, I want to direct you to my free guide, Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. See the link below this video. In the guide, I share the five most transformative ways to loosen up and strengthening your paintings. Download the free guide and start today to improve and move forward on your painting journey. To sum up this video uh, and give you some practical advice you can go and implement today, my advice is this. More than anything, I want you to give yourself the time needed to evolve and develop your work. 
practice and try things out as much as possible. And give yourself grace when things aren't going as smoothly as you'd like. We have all been there and go through this from time to time. Sometimes there are bumps on the road, but we need to keep going. To get you experimenting and playing, that's where the magic happens. So please keep showing up and practicing. Get out those art supplies and go on an adventure. Let's do this. I believe in you. Mm -hmm.